Okay, we'll have a look at one of these tricky questions from the homework. We're not going to do the whole thing, I don't think. Um, actually, this one's good because there's a couple of things I can point out and then you might be able to improve it for when you come back after school as well. So um, this diagram is not how I would ever draw a diagram. I would never have a person hanging on it. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> we would draw that as just a block or a, an arrow. So a beam AB is supported. Let's just quickly get this text out of the way. Shh, 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 shh. Um, a beam AB is supported by two vertical ropes. Um, and it's clearly not symmetrical because I've got this person here. So I'm going to have to call this one tension in P and this one tension in Q. And we've been told these measurements here and here. We've been told that the whole thing is two meters. So that makes me think that this whole distance here is what? 1.4. That's going to be a 1.4 there. And this gymnast is 50 kilograms. So I'm going to say that this is 50 G. And it's also a uniform rod, so we know that the, there's a 20G that's going right in the middle that we've got here, OK? We're going to try and show the tension in the rope attached to the beam at P. Now, if I'm trying to find out this tension here, where should you take moments? Q, Q, Q. Q, good. This is the place I'm going to take moments about. So when I take moments about Q, I have to be really careful about all of my distances. So the two forces working together are the 20G and the 50G. So you're going to have a 20G multiplied by what? Uh, 0 .7. Good, 20G multiplied by 0 0.7, because that is halfway of that bit that we've got there. Now, really sensibly think, if this is 1.4 and this is x, what is the distance between here and the 50G? 1.4 minus x. That's 1.4, that's x, so it's 1.4 minus x. So it's going to be 50G multiplied by 1.4 minus x. And that's going to be equal to the tension in P multiplied by good TP times 1.4. Now, if we multiply all of this stuff out, it's going to give us this. It has to. So let's just actually get some numbers going on here. 20G times 0 0.7. 20G times 0 0.7. So that's 137.2 plus 50G times 1.4, that's 686, minus 50GX equals 1.4TP. So if I add these together and then divide it by 1.4, so you get 588. And then if I do 50G divided by 1.4, you get minus 350X, which is what they wanted. Yes. You did it in a different way. Did you still come up with the same answer? Do you want to tell me the way that you went through it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't hear you yet. Pardon? Good. So did you do resolving upwards? And then where did you take moments about? And you took moments about A. So you could still do it in that simultaneous equations. But it's only three marks. If it's a three mark kind of question, that normally means it's just one thing that you can do. The reason I chose to take moments about Q is because I would eliminate the tension in Q, and I know I just have an equation that gives it to me straight away. But you still would get that right, OK? Part B then says, find the tension in the rope attached at Q. Um, so to find the tension in Q, what do I know about the tension in Q and the tension in P? They're different to each other. How do you want to find the tension in Q? We should resolve, OK? we should resolve in the up and down direction to get TQ plus TP equals 50G plus 20G, which is 70G. So that must mean that the tension in Q is 70G minus the tension in P. Simple. So we get 70G minus 588, which is 98. And then you get the minus minus, which is the plus 350X. OK, so it's just got unknowns in there. That's the only thing that makes this question any different at all. So that's that one done. That's that one done. It then says, hence find, justifying your answer carefully, the range of values of the tension which could occur in each rope. Did anyone know how to do this part of the question? Yeah, Hamza. I just subbed in the, what it said as zero x and Yeah, this is something we didn't talk about this when we read it earlier, but it says that the x is between 0 and 1.4. What's it actually saying if the, the, gym, the gymnast distance is between 0 and 1.4? Where would you describe where this gymnast is allowed to hang off the thing? 
In between P and Q. In between P and Q, okay? She's hanging in between P and Q is what it's really saying here. So at this side is where x is equal to 0, and at this side is where x is equal to 1.4. So all you really need to do for both of these things that you've got here is we would first of all say that x is equal to 0, so TP is equal to 588. And when x is equal to 1.4, TP is equal to 588 minus 350 times 1.4, which is 98. So the range is 98, or it can't include, and 588. And you can do the same thing for TQ. And it's the same thing. You get 98 and 588. And that's all because x is allowed to be between 0 and 1.4. You're looking at what's the extreme values that you can get of the tension. It then says, given that the tension in the rope attached to Q is three times the tension in the rope attached at P, find the value of x. So let's just write that down as a sentence. The tension in Q is three times the tension in P. This is for part D of the question. So all you then do is take this thing and put it in here, and you take this thing and put it in here and times it by three, and you solve the equation to find out what x is. 1.19. So you get x is 1.19. Lots of people in the past, when I've done this question with them, they've struggled because they've not noticed that that thing allows you to do this part of the question that you've got here. OK? So we're going to just do um, a very, very short example now on non-uniform rods, but I'll just separate this video. <laughs>